What's up, YouTube? This is Jersey Gamer 9000, and we're back on screen for more Banjo Tooie. Last time we unlocked Witchy World, we got a couple of things. Um, we got homing eggs from he Heggy after getting a uh, secret egg, and we also got this move. There you go. I showed that off. Okay. So let's head to Pine Grove, which is of course a new area we've unlocked in Isle of Hags. Which also contains Witchy World. So yes, we're gonna head to World 3. A very exciting world. Now, unlike most worlds, or the first two worlds that we've entered, we'll pretty much be able to do mostly everything in this world. So we're ready for that. There's a warp port, a warp pad right there, so that's always exciting. These two nodes right here always, always got me confused of how to get them. However, no. Yes, okay. You just break them with grenade eggs. We just got them, so that's how you do it. And there's a thing right over here to get on top of this, and we can just jump to them. So we got that out of the way. Um, there's pretty much nothing else here. We don't want that. That we need. Besides those notes. We had to, uh... Now keep this important. Keep this kid right here, uh, is very important. So keep that in mind that he's there. But for right now, we're gonna move on. Um, because, as you see... That's right. The Boggy family has returned. This is Mrs. Boggy. And now her three kids are lost somewhere in the... Of the, uh, in this world, and we're gonna have to try to find them. I think we should have a burger place over here. Uh, for the for the burger place and the fries place, there's a fries place here. We're gonna unlock those a little bit later. We're not gonna unlock them in this first part because we really can't even use them now, so we're not gonna worry about that. For now, we're gonna circle this tent and get these notes. Okay, we're almost done because there's these notes that I mysteriously forgot to grab. Alright. And now we're going to go on the other side of this tent because we'll have another warp point and we'll have our first move of the world. Warp point right here and it seems like these pads are here and let's finally figure out what they do, shall we? Separate skills of what you lack. So let's get Kazooie out your pack. Find your pads is what you do. Press an A makes one become two. That'll be all. They're smashed. Alright. So that's right. We can split up if we have these pads. You have split up to change to the other character. Stand on your pad or near a swap cloud and press A. To rejoin, simply touch the two characters together. Okay, so if you have Feist then on a banjo pad, it will automatically go to... Or you press A, and it will go to Kazooie, and then vice versa. There's also... Um, clouds that will come apparent in a minute. But for now, we'll head over... Not over there. We'll head over there later, actually. Here are the fries. We have to unlock the fries for and the burger place, but we'll unlock them later on. For now, we have a ginger over here. I say we get it. And we do everything in this area first. I'm going to explore everything outside first before we actually head into the, these sub-areas. Ginger! So happy! Alright. So that's the yellow Jinjo, and we have another yellow Jinjo will give us another Jiggy in the Isle of Hags. But for now, what's to say? Ring the bell to win a, a top prize. Okay, now what you have to do here, take out your grenade eggs. Hit, hit the grenade egg, and then you have more time. What you want to do now is use the regular pound move, and then use the new move we got in the last world. And there you go. Bell breaks, and you got a Jiggy.
And there's number 14. Which should have been number... T probably 22. Because we would have had 21 because we would have got the Jinjo. Jang! You died because I said so. Okay. More notes. We're making good progress with those. Oh, I thought I would try to ch cheap out that guy and miss him, but apparently not. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure there's another one, or no. Okay, let's do this. Let's get up here. Up here, up here. I didn't miss anything, did I? I hope I didn't miss the, what I'm looking for. There's the warp. There should be a thing. Is it in here? I'm trying to find the globo. Oh, the globo is right in here. Okay, good. Alright, so we have globo. I say we transform the bomba. You have globo. Want to give the humba? Sure. Sure, I'll just throw it in. So just like World 2, I'm gonna use, do Wombas and Mumbo stuff first. Because it's very important that we do, because most of the Jiggies involve Mumbo and Wamba. So, yes, we call this van. Let's just get out of here. Okay, so with the van, you can actually press B to open these doors. This is just a quick way to get down. You don't actually have to go down that way, but they'll go up that way. You have to do that. So what I want to go do is go and kill all these guys. You could actually use grenade eggs to kill these guys, but they can't hurt us with the van. So, and we are collecting tickets. This tent right here has nothing to do with anything. Come inside and have your fortune told by Madame Grunty. However, we are continually obliged to point out that you may not necessarily like what she decides. Um, yeah, she could kill you. She can give you, like, health or whatnot. I don't exactly know. It's nothing useful. What does this sign say? No, I want to read the sign. Big Al's Burgers. 100% meat of rotten origin. Topped with a synthetic cheese slice. Hmm, that doesn't sound too it. That does not sound appetizing at all. Alright, so now that we got that. We're gonna head to the area over here. As I slide down the hill, has a car. Uh, you want four tickets. These guys do respawn, so... Yeah. No, hey. Hey. Die. Now, I want to use the van to go over here. Hey, here to enter the fearsome furnace of the inferno. So, we're going to do that. The ride is now open. Alright, so that's right. The inferno has now been opened. Now, like I said, I know I said I weren't going to do... Um, Stuff in these other areas, but we do have to enter this area. It has the van. Because this... And unlock it as the van, too. Because this is where Mumbo is. They're right there. I like how Mumbo in this world has, like, the horns. Split pairs are here, too. But the reason why we're here, of course, is there's a thing we can open with this, and we get a Cheeto page. Might as well collect the Cheeto page. We don't want to pick that up, because that's pointless. We are gonna we're gonna head over here because we wanna get the warp in this area so we don't have to Ooh, well we can actually go into the lava. Okay. If you hit this switch, a stock jump pad appears on the top. And then you see that there's a jerky up there. However, if you let go of the switch, the pad disappears. We'll get into that a little bit later. I'm just gonna go over here real quick. Okay, there are three kids. And, um, one of them will 
one of them can appear in this area right over there. I'm pretty sure. But he, my guys don't appear to be here, so that's good. Okay. There is more we can do. There's more we have to do with the fan. But I want to get the mumbo stuff out of the way first. So let's transform back and let's use mumbo! Now, as always, of course... Um... doing stuff, you know, you try to get things set up. It always takes the longest, and then you actually get everything a little quicker. Now, let's show off these split pads since we're here, and we can do this jiggy now while we're... before we actually do mumbo stuff. Get this little area out of the way. Now, you want to take Banjo over here. I don't have a move, which is kind of... the another move, which I probably would have gotten by now, but at this point, I forgot it. I can't even roll. Jeez. So... Step on the switch with Mumbo will create the pad. And because we gotta use the van to watch the cutscene, we're gonna have to press A at that spot. And you will trans you know, that's like the cloud that he was talking about, those sparkly things. So as you see those, you can press A and transform into uh let's transform and you can switch to the next character. So now what we wanna do is use Kazooie and glide ow! I suck at this, by the way, people. You want to, like, lean against the wall so you don't have to jump? What? Alright, so if you die as one of the characters, you will actually just transport yourself back to this area. To where you split up. So it's not that uh, bad of a Recognition prize or a death. There is unlimited lives. You can die as many times as you want in this game. There's no like live counter like there was before. Uh, I don't even think there's a timer for this. You actually don't need to use these shoes, but I think they purposely put them there so you can jump over them. But I think it's more convenient just to lie the wall because you can. I didn't get to the wall in time, but that's okay. Let's, yeah, let's get rid of that. Jump here, because Zooey jumps a lot higher by herself using that pad. And there is a Jiggy! <laughs> well, that's one way to die! Whatever. We got that Jiggy. Alright, now let's do some mumbo stuff. Mumbo, mumbo, mumbo! 